Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, last time I did one of these, went down really well, everyone seemed to enjoy it. I was very nervous, but you guys liked it, so I thought I'd do another... Da -da 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 -da. What's in my bag? I made that theme tune up on the spot. This time, new bag, new purchase. Um, this is the Balenciaga City Tote. Balenciaga City Bag. Um, oh, it's the Balenciaga Metallic Edge City Bag. Metallic Edge because it's this. So this is like the 2016 edition of the classic Balenciaga City. I've wanted one of these bags for a while. Um, and then obviously other bags were like popping up and kind of trying to draw me in to like buy them instead but I thought no I've wanted a bag of this style for a while I didn't know whether to get the regular or the mini girl problems so many issues I went with it obviously I got it in black I actually really wanted the cream version then I remembered what sort of person I was and thought that's not a good idea because day one I'll probably get it dirty I'm gonna have a look inside see what's in there it's quite a good sized bag I mean that's the size of my head and a lot of compartments as well my dad when he saw it was like why have you got such a long string on your bag that's fashion papa fashion all of these items have been in my bag since last night so whatever is in there from last night when i came home that's what's in there now open up the bag right oh there's lots of bits first up some deodorant because you always want to be fresh when you're on the go and actually I've done a lot of shoots recently I've done a few shoots for Reebok and things so I've been getting quite active so this is quite a good one to have in the bag I actually think I think it's running out so I probably need to get a new one of these this which I think was in my bag before my phone charger my portable phone charger trusty trusty oh some money actually have some cash on me for once which is a very very rare occurrence but I went somewhere recently where they only accepted cash so I went and got out some cash and this is obviously what's left over and my card holder this one is a YSL one I got it at Christmas I think got my driving license all my important cards in credit cards with no money on but you know good to carry all the cards got about three different credit cards um yeah so that's that car keys with this that my friend Ali, who owns Jaw Breaking, she sent me this. Can you read that? So I put it on my keys because, you know, I'm so basic. Okay, then I've got this bag of wonders. This, like, pouch, which is from Kiehl's, pretty much gets lifted out of one bag and put into another, and then lifted out of that bag and put into another. I'd like to think that if I was on a desert island, I could survive pretty well with just this bag. So I'm gonna go through all the crap basically that's in here, which is like my daily, like, I need all of these to get through a day. Like I said, this actual outside, like clear bag is from Kiehl's, plus it's airport safe as well, isn't it? None of this transferring it into one of those little flimsy see-through bags. Got it, when they say liquids, I'm like, bam, done. With a zip as well anti-back always a must hand moisturizer that i recently gave to my family because we were all out to dinner and they're like oh has anyone got any hand moisturizer obviously i had my bag of wonders with me gave them that and ever since then every time i see them they're like you got that, that moisturizer so they're obsessed with it this is the i don't know how you say it if it's aesop or aesop suggestions on a postcard or suggestions in the comments below mandarin rind rosemary leaf and cedar wood fancy three different lip products probably because i wore each of these on different days and rather than switching it i just added it too so first up the estate edit went to their event recently got some goodies this nude lipstick which is number two sunday vibe I love a nude lip me. Oh, and I love that packaging as well. Cool, right? Second 
is this one from Galan, which again, packaging, cute. Um, and this again, surprisingly, is another kind of nudie pink colour. Pretty similar to the last one. But this isn't, the last one was like a matte lipstick. This is a lot more like moisturising. So this is more like a balm lipstick. Um, and this is in number 11. I don't know what it's called, but it's number 11. And then finally, liquid lipstick. Like, this is not going to budge. Am I wearing? I don't think I, no, I'm not wearing this one now. Um, this is the Smashbox liquid lipstick. And this is the colour In Demand. Ooh. Those three lip things are in my bag of wonders. What else? Oh, this. You know, like, you'll get that, like, 3, 4 p.m. like, uh, feeling. You need to whack some of this on your face. So refreshing. And actually, this got me through Coachella when I was there. So hot. You just want to wash your face, but you can't because you've got makeup on. Spritz this on. That's instantly refreshed. I've tried a few of these, and this is by far my favourite. It's the Cactus Flower and Tibetan Ginseng Hydrating Mist. It is so refreshing. Just the smell of it. I think it's the mixture, it must be, of the cactus and the Tibetan ginseng. Fancy heels. That's there. Hang on. Headphones. These ones are from Happy Plugs. They look like the standard iPhone headphones, but they're not. They've got a little bit of like rose gold on them. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so those. Now file. Hair clip. Okay, more lip stuff. This is like a lip balm though. This is again by Golan. This is their Super Lips, which is like a, yeah, like a lip balm. Um, like a gel type thing for your lips. So it's not got any colour to it, but just nice, you know, stop you getting those dry lips. Now varnishes, in case I ever want to paint my nails whilst I'm out on the go. These two are YSL uh, Rose Abstrait, number 24, and a gel top coat. I don't know why they're in there. I, they don't need to be in there because I'm not going to use those during the day. It's actually quite a good way while filming these videos to actually clear out my bag and things I don't need. Oh, this is a Nude Sticks pencil. Um, I've said before in some of my videos, I sometimes wear like a concealer pencil in my waterline because it brightens up my eyes and it's not as like obvious as wearing a white pencil in your waterline. So I have this one in my bag. Some eyelash glue because if ever you go out wearing false lashes, you just don't know if they're going to like last the whole day. It's like you just don't know and no one wants that like half peeling off lash look. So this is just a duo eyelash glue. Got a little perfume here. This is Love from my Young and Gifted Peace, Love and Happiness range. Um, this is the rollable one. So I keep that in there. I switch it up. I've had, I had peace in my bag for ages. Now I'm on to love and then I'll move on to happiness. I probably should already be on to happiness because it's the summer months now. Yeah, so got that in my bag as well. Rollable. I'm sat on my foot. Ah! There we go. I've got a hairband, nearly at the end of the bag of dreams. A hairband. Some plasters. I feel like that's quite an adult thing to carry. Some plasters, just in case. And, oh, these are tickets from the Monaco Grand Prix that I recently went to. This is the train ticket because we actually stayed in Nice and then took the train to Monaco because Monaco was heaving with people. So we wanted to stay a little bit further out in a really nice apartment just so we kind of had some space. So we got the train in, which only took like 20 minutes. And then this is my actual ticket from the Grand Prix with the circuit on the back as well. Not gonna lie, I didn't know who was who had to keep asking my dad and my brother-in-law which colour we wanted to win. Lewis Hamilton won. Yes. So that's that's the end of the bag of dreams. That. So back to my actual bag now. I've got, oh, this probably should have been in the bag of dreams as well. Um, just my MAC Studio Fix powder. Good for, you know, and you've got a mirror obviously as well. A pair of socks. Very bright socks as well. 
Reebok socks, always representing. And do you know what I love about Reebok socks? That not many people know, but I do because I have pretty much every single pair of socks I've ever made. That's right. Only a really a gangster company would put left and right on your socks, just so you know. But um, no, in all seriousness, I think it's because there are different materials throughout the socks for different areas of your foot. Again, that's pretty badass. I think I've definitely worn these. Right, they're going in the wash. Ooh. Then I've got, I don't know why, I've got my laptop charger with me. So I obviously was out with my laptop and I haven't taken this out. Yeah, so laptop charger, which is actually quite heavy. This definitely shouldn't be in my bag anymore. I've got a crop top or sports bra. Again, Reebok. Um, like I said, doing a few shoots for them recently and I'll go in one sports bra and then I'll have to change into another. Um, I've also been doing a few different fitness classes. Yoga, spin, not for me. Always good to have in your bag. That's much more comfortable than a regular bra. Okay, now, oh, oh, okay, another powder. This is a Guerlain one. This is like a bronzer. This is their Terracotta Light. And it smells ah, divine. Nearly at the end, I've got more like hair bands and hair grips in the bottom. Another plaster. Right, the pockets. We're on to the pockets. I've got another hair band. Do you know what? I always do lose hair bands. They're probably all just in this bag. Oh, this is a little piece of cork. Now, if you have been on my blog recently or you follow me on any social media, you would have seen that I've recently been to Portugal and we visited a cork factory whilst we were there. It sounds random, but it was probably one of the most fun things I've ever done because I will have the odd bottle of champagne, not to myself, or, you know, open the odd bottle of wine. And you just don't think about the cork. And when you find out that actually it takes about 43 years for one cork to be made, that blows your mind a little bit. So I learned a lot and I got to take quite a little souvenir, a little piece of cork. So I've got that. Right, in the inside pocket of the bag, I've got... Oh, oh, loads of stuff's fallen out. Hang on. Another mirror. Now, this mirror actually came attached onto the outside of the bag when I first got it. It was, like, attached to, like, here and was, like, dangling down. And I just didn't want it hanging around the outside. So I detached it and have placed the mirror on the inside pocket so that I've always got a mirror, even if I don't bring out any makeup that comes with the mirror, like a compact powder. I've always got a mirror. So this is like the Balenciaga mirror. I've got some more train tickets from Nice. Must have taken the train quite a few times in order to get, they're also very big as well, aren't they? That's like the size of a boarding pass. At home in England, they have train tickets that are like that big, like the size of a credit card. And then, oh, a pen. Good. This is from Hilton, so I obviously stole this from a hotel. What have I got? Ah, oh, yes, it's all English money as well. 250, uh, 250, 290, £2.96, I am rich. And do you know what, I'm going to keep that in my bag because I reckon one day I'll be in need of a couple quid and it'll be in my bag. Oh, I've got more than £3, just over £3, I found another 20p. Yay. I've got like, so when you buy like a designer bag, you have to get like a certificate of like, authentication certificate of authentication um, to show that it is a genuine product, it is real um, it's not a knockoff or a fake so you get this kind of card lots of different languages um, but also a little bit of a bit of care instructions there some more stuff oh and two care cards just a lot of like Balenciaga aficionado stuff. I've got another card holder. This one, this is actually a really fun one. I like this. This is from Amanda Wakeley and it says, I am a very important. 
because I am. Here I've got my Oyster card, I've got some train tickets um, that I haven't, that are out of date now. Um, yeah, so this is like my travelling one, if I'm kind of Oyster card or if I'm getting the train to Manchester or somewhere, I'll need this with me. Sure, another hairband. I don't know how many that is now, but it's a lot. Some chewing gum, because it's always good to stay minty fresh. Oh, another hairband. I swear to God, these are all different hairbands as well. I'm not just getting the same one. And then, oh, a memory card. Um, this is actually my sister's, so I actually can't lose this because this isn't mine, this is hers. So I need to give it back. But look at the cute little case it comes in. Mine are not that well organised. She's like on it. So, memory card. And then, more money, but this is not British money. I've got euros here. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I've got 95 cents. Not so balling there, but still going to keep it in the bag in case I find myself in Europe and I need some money. And that is my bag. That's all the compartments. That's everywhere. That's what's inside my bag. I'm actually well impressed with that. That's my bag. My phone isn't in there, but I've obviously always had my phone in my hand. In fact, I don't actually know where my phone is right now. It's... Where is my phone? Okay, I've lost my phone, so I probably should go and find that. Ta-da! And that's how that video is made. So anyway, that is what is in my bag. I hope you enjoyed watching. Comment below. I don't know what you're gonna wanna comment, but what do you think about the contents of my bag? Does it please you? Do we have anything in common? Are you gonna get any of those things? A lot of hair bands. Lots of hair essentials to tame what clearly is not a very neat hairstyle today. So if you're new here, welcome, and I hope to see you again very soon like and subscribe please come back please like my video and yes I'll see you soon bye bye